Hi, uh, I'd like to show you the ART or also self mile fascia release. And today I'm going to show you how to relieve some of the pressures in the neck and some of the areas that go down through the upper back and shoulders. This is your standard door. You could also use this uh, on, a, on the floor as well or a wall, a section of the wall. But you know, for this video, I'm going to use the wall here. And this is a lacrosse ball. You can get these, and I'll put a link up on the website or on Amazon so that you can, uh, or on our VIP page on Facebook, and you can see where to get these. But basically, you want to position yourself close to the door, and you can place the ball at the base of the skull and lean some pressure into that. And this particular action, all by itself, is golden. It's absolutely nuts how this feels. And you just have to kind of search out the tender spots. You're going to go with a side to side action. And then you're going to go with a up and down action until you get relief. And obviously you can apply as much pressure as you want on your own neck, feeling it. Obviously you don't want to roll this onto the, you know, the spine itself. But all the muscles at the base of the skull all the way around and can be very sensitive and then you can let it drop down on the neck itself doing this on both sides to relieve the pressure in the neck again a side to side action in our head you know seven eight pounds maybe if you have a whole lot of smarts you might even have a big head that weighs 12 15 pounds but the whole process is supported by these neck muscles and they get very, very fatigued from time to time. And I know several people get migraine headaches as a result of all of these muscles being fairly tight. And, you know, they just avoid doing all of the things necessary and try to take, you know, medicine or pills to relieve the pressure when basically a good massage would do the trick or uh, a, a foam roller. Now the foam roller is a big, big surface area, so I find that the, the cross ball works a lot better. Now, further on down the back, into the rhomboid area, we can get that area and target maybe a specific area that's really sensitive and roll from side to side again and top to bottom, finding, based on feeling, after you've searched up and down your shoulder blade or your scapula and the muscles in between them, your rhomboid and your trapezius muscle. And you can reposition, walk away from the door, reach across your body and give yourself quite a good old time. And rolling from side to side, back and forth with repositioning of the arm on that particular side. One action, just bringing it across the body, opens up that scapula a little bit and exposes the muscle in a whole different position. And you will feel an unbelievable feeling, a sensation, a sexy feeling of those muscles as you roll that lacrosse ball. This will break up a lot of tension. And you can go down by just Repositioning and finding that position again that's really sensitive. Now, there are a whole lot of other things that can happen by rolling over here towards the lat and Terry's muscle groups. These, I think, are easier um, experience on the floor. I'll show you another video on how to do that on the floor, but there are several things that we can do here. I can also work on the shoulder and find all of the hot, pots, hot spots in the shoulder. But I think this works best for the neck and upper back in between the shoulder blades. And then I'll show you in another video how to do this on the floor. Again, this is your standard racquetball. Um, you could drive around town and find them at most of the uh, sporting goods stores, but I'll put up a link on the, long, the uh, M2 Fitness Pros VIP Facebook uh, private group page. You can go and go right to the source and get some pretty good deals, okay? Peace.